Bridtown at Bridtown TV. Uh, please watch, like, subscribe, and uh, most importantly for me, share the clip so as many people as possible can see it. Here we are, it's been a long time, actually. feels like we've been away for ages, but um, today, Bridtown nil, Stocksbridge Park Steels nil. What a fantastic game of football, and we've got Gaffer. Brett Agnew sat next to me now. Brett, how do you think today went, sir? Good, good point in the end. You know, I mean, obviously, it's, it wasn't, I don't think it was the best of exciting the games, but I mean, don't get me wrong, there was a good few things happened in the game, but yeah. no, no, it's a draw, a draw was probably about right, to be fair. Better, uh, better to have a point than no point, I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah definitely, 100%. And that's, in this stage in the season, you need you need any points. Um, but I thought Hitchy kept his in it again. Mm -hmm. uh, it was outstanding. Man of the match. Quite deservedly got man of the match. Um, he, played, he made some really good saves. Probably, like I said in there, probably unnecessary saves because we put, played ourselves into danger a few times just to be a bit, a bit of sloppy play. But we did, you could see in the first half we hadn't played in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you, you noticed that, but you could you could see there's boys touches off everywhere. There was the, the, the Looked a bit leggy, looked a bit miles off it, you know what I mean? So, we said that the second half, that, that is what it is, we'll put that first half down to um, yes, yeah, rusty nuss, rusty yeah, nuss. Of course, yeah, being out, but second half we came in, yeah, a bit, uh, but we need to be better for next week, so it's, it's in the take care. No way next week, yeah? So, yeah, um, frankly, quite a tough place to go. Mm -hmm. So nah, it's a, it's a must win again there down there with us. So we need to, yeah we need to we need to. They all they all say the six pointer, six pointer, massive for both teams. Yeah. And obviously we'll, we'll mention notice that um, Danielle came off on the back of his leg, up for nothing too serious. Hopefully not. No, she's hamstring. Um, so hopefully it's just a slight niggle, you know what I mean? No. And you know let's let's talk about so I don't even bumped into this by chance right, but an amazing bit of news today. A Bridtown lad um, from the age of seven, he's been at Hull City Academy. And I was sat with his parents in the stand, and I don't know if it's I'll tell you to see two proud parents in a, a Brid lad yeah. making his debut for Bridtown. Special mention to Lewis Beckett. He looked all right as well. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just said to him in there, I said, maybe we should have scored, and, he, and, he, and he's honest enough in himself saying, yeah, I should have scored two. But like I just said to him, good touch, good pace. You, you think about them for tonight, and you rule over it, and you maybe, oh, I should have done this, should have done this, and then that's it, bang, out your head, focus on the next game. All strikers do it. I don't know, numerous times there are chances and then maybe miss more than what you scored. Yeah, hundred percent, yeah. But that that's what you gotta do. You get you need to get in the position so he done he got in there and he, he done really well. He looked good as well, his touch is yeah. best. And he, he, he working a, he good. working hard back in there in the corner, working hard back for his team. So yeah, it was it, it was really it's really like say it's good to like you said, it's a good thing, you know what I mean? It's nice to, to hear all the fans, everybody shouting and, and I think it's a big. I think it's a big thing because, like I say, he left Bridge to obviously go to all academy and to, to maybe make your debut for your hometown club. Um, like I said, his parents sat behind me, and it was such a proud moment. So uh, yeah, I spoke to his dad. He did on, well. He did well as well. Spoke to his dad on Monday when I went to watch him uh, play at the stadium, and his dad. You could see his dad was obviously he wanted him to be playing the whole city, but he, he's, he's, that's it, the way it is. But you could see he was happy and. and Quite proud for him to come and play. But equally, I think as well, and, and like I said, I'll never knock Academy, that's where obviously the, the players of tomorrow come from. But coming and playing with, let's say, some 30 somethings at this level of football must benefit him as he goes further into football. Must do, you know? It's not yeah, pretty pretty, it's, you're battling, you're battling, and it's proper football, isn't it? Yeah. But um, football in the Academy is just totally different because that, they want you playing the way they want as a professional and that's the way it's going to be and we've got all the stuff in that and, and yeah that, that that's what you want that's where you want to be so you yeah. want to be there I'm saying yeah, the education course. you get from this experience is going to set you up in good oh, stuff definitely like say be, being, being in round all the course with this, this course with the fans and, and they're after the end and speaking to them all and everybody will be high-fiving them and saying well done and that and that's brilliant for a kid you know what I mean get his, boost his confidence up uh, and I know what I want to mention, I always worry, I thought he did all right today, obviously, like I said, I've seen him play for a long time, Pete Davidson, he yeah. came off at the end and I always worry when Pete, is that as a precaution or just there? Uh, well, again, Pete's not playing for a while, isn't he? Six, six, seven weeks, so yeah. possibly, yeah, so again, he, got, he, he, done, he probably played a bit longer than what he should have really, but you've got to commend him for that, he wants to stay on because it's a tough game and he wants to put his all in, so we take him off as a precaution, um, we just needed a bit of legs going on there, I think. Well, well, Lanning came off as well, and he was kind of flagging a little bit. So we needed a bit of legs, and he get this going, and it almost, it almost paid off. Didn't he? No, it didn't. It didn't. Um, 
Yeah, it was some good performances, some really good performances. I thought Plumbers was brilliant. It Matt, was, it was, it really yeah, good. Plumbers, but Ellis done really well, he's usually casual, isn't he? Um, and Matt Dickel going forward, brilliant again. I think he's played, I'm, I'm so chuffed that he got played a month out, because we haven't seen each other for that long. I'm so chuffed that he got played a month, because I think. He plays sometimes you play fullback, it's not the sexiest position, you're not a centre forward, you're not you're not the, the attacking midfield and all that. But I think he, he goes about his business in a very quiet way, but he's very effective at what yeah. he does. You the know? thing is with Dicko, he's played he's been playing right back and, and he can play centre midfield, so when you marry them up again you, you know you're, you're comfortable going forward as well as defending. So um, yeah, he's a great asset for us and it's just his professionalism all around, he gets everything. He wants everybody. Nice kid as well. Yeah. Nice kid as well. And I'm sorry, I want to mention it because I'm, I'm sure to the fans who have read it this way that it's been a change, uh, a change in your coaching team. Yeah, uh, well, not a change, just uh, Alex is, uh, Alex is went over to Australia um, to, to be with Mrs. and she came over, back over and spent some time over here and then he's given up his job in Gorm, which is... I thought it was a love story. I thought, how nice is that he'd taken the gamble to go down under. But what I wanted to say I to was, the fans... I was going to say he went around the internet, but I didn't want to say that, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what I, what I do want to say is, you know what, best look down under, because I want to say, every one of us volunteers, he always gives us the time of day, but the nicest lad you could ever meet, and he was a great addition to your coach. Oh, really? so, yeah, was... so from all us lot, all the volunteers, hey, Hope you smash it down under and it's nice that he followed love, man. Not yeah. many people do no, that. No, he's, a, he's a big mess, obviously he's great when he, he was great to have around and he's, he's just his, his enthusiasm for everything and, he, and the way he went about things and it, yeah, he's just like he enjoyed just what he did the best for our lads, you know what I mean? So so there's one because obviously we as fans, and I am a fan first and foremost, is we don't really get what's gone on in recent weeks, so all them times you had you still been training twice a week and all how, how's it been? Went the first week I gave the lads a week, the full week off. Yeah, yeah. Um, so and then I gave them gave them that full week off and the Tuesday off and then I gave, I gave and then the Thursday, Saturday off again and then the Tuesday Thursday and then um, Tuesday Thursday again. So the first week I just gave them a week because a lot of the time you get more respect. I think you get more respect about for that because when you when when you have them in all the time, well, I'm, I'm, I'm drilling them, drilling them. The lads are not like they just want you know you want to rest. Yeah, yeah. Probably they can't even have them in for seventy four days. You know what I mean? You just want them to get more respect. You know what I mean? So I gave them a full week off and yeah, um, we just take over really when it's off. You know what I mean? I think some of the lads I don't know some of the lads went away. I, I, Matt Dixon said he took his missus to Paris. I was like, uh, don't be telling my missus that because she's a spider. We go, we go to Scarborough. He takes his missus to Paris. You know, good luck. Um, another thing that, that I'd like to say. So obviously now we're getting to that point. This is what I'm calling. It's like the ready money round now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, how, how are you feeling as we um, approach what is really the uh, the juicy end of the season? Really, we are in the mix. Let's not kid ourselves. We're down there. Oh yeah. How, how, how are you feeling uh, as we're moving forward? I'm confident. I'm confident again. Like I say, I'm com confident. Um, Always confident in my own abilities and my, my staff, me and Lamps, and confident in the lads. Now we've got pretty much a full squad. Full Dan, squad. Danny's out now um, for a couple of weeks, but I'm confident. You know what I mean? I said in my interview, um, I think it was with Dom, is it? Um, I said that I think two two wins in a draw, maybe get maybe we're hoping for other people, but if we get three wins. Nah, yeah, points. Then we, we was definitely staying up. It's that 32 35 mark, like I said, that we should that kind of keep you up now. So, Are teams are going to get there, yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think we've got next week's a very important game. Play Liver Sedge, we all then won. We all Liver Sedge won after that coming here. Um, then we play Brick House, which again, we were robbed a bit of um, point there when we had the goal chopped off. Um, then, we, then we play Osset, went very beatable. Was then we well play, play uh, Pickering, obviously that's massive, yeah, yeah. that one can separate the men from the boys and then yeah, we play Sheffield the week after that and then Dunstan, very winnable games and I, I went and said we well, said we owe them one, but yeah. most people say oh, that's a free hit, no we owe them one we owe them one, so yeah. I'm not scared of anybody It's still tastes a bit better than oh, I could have it, didn't yeah, it was, it was Hey, but do you know, do you know, I really do wish you a good Tuesday, good Thursday training, yeah. and that we have that strongest shot because, like you said, now we're getting to that. It's time to dance, and it? it's time to dance. Well, this is this is where this is where my jobs. Um, you ain't basically, winning. basically, that's right. You know, what I mean, that's if, I, if, if we go down and my jobs on the line, if we, if we stay up, then we've done a great job. I think that's a fantastic job. So that's that's right. 
you've got your sticker box, not just for me, it's for the lads as well, because that's where you, you want them getting the, the more money or whatever they get at this level. And yeah, for the fans, it's for everything, isn't it? It's massive, it's it's massive. Everything, massive. Yeah. It's everything, so... Hey, well, hopefully, I'm hoping we'll be here frickly because uh, I think we're nearby with uh, the actual Wallace football, oh, so mate. hey, we'll be there, mate. We'll be, hey, you know what, you got our back in, and uh, you know what? Here to talk to us always, yeah, mister. Thanks a lot. Um, and obviously, like I always say, please watch, like, what's the point of doing these interviews if no one watches them? So please watch, like, subscribe, and the biggest thing for me is share so all your mates can see it as well. Right, we'll be there frickly. We'll see you after the game. Good time, TV. Cheers.